Hey guys, welcome to my first video in college. This is crazy, I can't believe it's real. But I'm really excited because today I get to give you a tour of our freshman year dorm room. If you guys don't know, I am a freshman this year at the University of Oklahoma in Norman and I am living in Cross Village. But if you're thinking about moving into Cross or you really wanna see kind of the layout of everything and this could possibly be your future home, hopefully this gives you some ideas and some insight into what the dorm uh, actually looks like. We live in a four bedroom, two bathroom room in Cross. So it's a quad style suite. And we're very, very lucky to be here and it's been a blast so far. So I'm going to show it off to you guys and I'm very excited. So let's get right into it. So this is the immediate view when you first walk into the dorm room. Super, super nice. This is our living area. This is our kitchen area, fridge and microwave. Both came with the dorm. And then we have our four individual rooms and we custom made the flags that you see on each of our rooms. Sorry, that's the ice maker going off in the corner. Um, but these are all of my roommates and then my room as well. So it's super, super cute. First up, we have these fairy lights on the wall behind the TV that one of my roommate's parents put up for us. We have our TV here on this TV stand, which also comes with the room, but we did have to buy the TV. Um, we also have this lamp that one of my roommate's parents got for us. So we have some kind of mood lighting because usually we don't have this big one on. I just have it on for the sake of the video. Um, and then we have our main big trash can that we use. Most of our food trash goes in here. Then moving through, we have this little corner table. We've got a little picture frame of us and some of our other friends from back home. We have some coasters. We have some tissues, just casual things. Then this is the regular couch that came with the dorm as well. We haven't gotten a couch cover. Don't know if we will, but it is an option. We got these four different throw pillows and then we have two throw blankets out here. We also have this bin of throw blankets that lives under the TV stand. Then we have this coffee table that we did purchase ourselves and removed the other one that was here. It looked just like that though. Um, and we put this little decorative fashion book, coffee table book on here, including some art pieces. And then two little coasters, super cute. And so this is just where we hang out all together and watch Netflix. <laughs> Over here, we have our ice maker just a little bin for bananas. We have a paper towel roll, soap, dish soap, my coffee maker, let's put this back, with a little coffee cup and all the coffee pods. Um, big mirror, ranch dressing road, babe cave, lots of fun decor in here, two placemats, a Guy Ferrari Flavor Town license plate out on display, as well as this really cute little lemon uh, mat. This rug is super, super nice. It's huge and we purchased it ourselves just for right under this main area. So it's not all wood floors. I do wanna point out that this dorm has wood floors throughout the entire thing, except for the bathrooms. The bathrooms do have tile, but other than that, you will be having hardwood floors if you're living here, which I personally prefer to sometimes the tile floors or carpeted floors, um, but yeah. Over here is kind of our snack and storage area. We bought this uh, nine cube shelf to put right here. And then all of these bins are from Target. Um, and we tested it to make sure that they fit in perfectly. And we just have tons of snacks and food in every single one. Um, just lots of just normal dorm food. We bought these vases and plants from Hobby Lobby and we made a bunch of decor with them as well as some of these little containers for like band-aid and Tylenol things as well as some chip clips going in this box that are also magnets so we can hang stuff up on the fridge. We have our candy salad bin that is running a little bit low because we have not refilled it I think since moving in um, but it's just for our guests it's just a fun little thing like oh if you want some candy you can come over and grab it as well as this little lamp and our little vacuum cleaner that I used earlier to clean the floors. And then of course our giant light up boomer sign because of course, boomer sooner, University of Oklahoma. 
Now back over here, we just have some fun stuff hung up on the fridge. Um, all of us rushed Alpha Chi Omega um, for our sorority, which was super exciting. So those are all of our fit day letters. And then we got notes, which is just a really cool watercolor painting of the house on Greek Row. And then we also have a big Alpha Chi uh, flag as well as you know the coaster and the little chip box so if you were wondering what those were for those are for our sorority and we're going to make a bunch of videos about sorority rush and everything giving you tons of tips and tricks so if you plan on rushing at the university of oklahoma keep in touch for that because it is on its way okay update we got these cute little posters to put on the wall so now the space looks a little bit less empty so now moving on to my own personal room i absolutely love the way that this turned out i went with a white and purple theme overall and just decorated the heck out of it every room does come with a window so everyone gets natural light which is really really nice and their own personal closet as well as a full-sized bed not a twin so over here, I kind of have my little mirror that opens up and doubles as a jewelry case inside, which is super awesome. It also kind of saves a little bit of space there. So I absolutely love that. Highly recommend. <laughs> then I have my bulletin boards just for some memories, some tokens, as well as my little Alpha Chi flag. Brought over my record player, some vinyls, my fan, just all sort of things to decorate. Then I also brought my own cubicle, which fits inside the room just as a little bookcase. And then these little boxes to just kind of hold anything and everything because you can always do it with more storage. Then over here, I have my bid day sign as well as my little three tiered cart that I kind of decorated, put another picture frame up there, speaker, all sorts of things, my water bottle. I also brought over my TV. There's my little view. It's right of the stadium, which is awesome. I absolutely love it. Um, got my little things there on the window, just making it as cute and as fun as possible. It was such a blast decorating my room um, and I had so much fun doing it. Then moving on to my little bookcase, bookshelf over here on the side. This is where I keep some of my other trinkets and most of my schoolwork, pens, paper, all sorts of things. Got my laptop there as well as some makeup stuff and a little mirror. Then I have my Taylor Swift inspired paintings that are over my bed, just, you know, my favorite songs ever. Hey guys, so I just finished up my first semester at OU um, and I'm finally getting around to filming a proper ending to this video. So I apologize if this is so, so late, but um, hopefully it's fine. <laughs> and it was still really, really helpful to everyone that wanted to see the dorm room and wanted to see the layout. If you have any more questions at all about anything related to living in Cross or living at Oklahoma in general, let me know and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, hopefully you got some inspiration here for anything. If you wanna know where anything specific is from that I didn't mention in the video, again, let me know. Hit me with any of the questions. I wanna be helpful. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I can't believe I'm already halfway done with like living here. It's so weird. It makes me sad. Um, but I'm so excited for next semester. So yeah, thanks guys for watching.